All right, let me do a couple indefinite integrals that involve trig functions. Remember what an indefinite integral is. If we're looking for an indefinite integral of f at x dx, we say that's equal to capital F of x plus the constant of integration. And what's the relationship between capital F of x and f of x? Well, capital F is the antiderivative of lowercase f. And what that means is if I were to differentiate capital F of x, I would get lowercase f of x. So when we're finding the indefinite integral, what we're looking for is we're looking for a function whose derivative is equal to this integrand right here. So for part a, when I want the indefinite integral of four times cos x, what I'm looking for is a function whose derivative is four cos x. So in order to figure that out, you're going to have to be very familiar with derivatives of trig functions because we're looking for what function can I differentiate to get four cos x. Well, if we zoom in on a here, this constant of four, any constant factor, you could move in front of the integral operator. So I can do four times the indefinite integral of cos x dx. And now I'm just looking for what is the antiderivative of cos x? So what can I differentiate to get cos x? Well, the derivative of sine is cosine, right? I have that written right here. So I know the antiderivative of cosine is sine. So it'll be four times sine x, and then of course, plus the constant. And remember, you can always differentiate your antiderivative to check your answer. If the derivative of four times sine x is four times cos x, then you've got the right answer. B, I have the indefinite integral of secant squared x dx. What this means, I'm looking for an antiderivative of secant squared x. So I'm looking for what function can I differentiate to get secant squared x? Well, I know the derivative of tan is secant squared x. So I can say that tan x plus any constant is the antiderivative of secant squared x, because when I differentiate tan x, I get secant squared x. Part C, in order to do this indefinite integral, we may want to rewrite the integrand. So the integrand is always between the integral operator and your dx. So the integrand is my sine x over cos squared x. I could rewrite that as a sine x over cos x times a one over cos x. Right, that would be equal to sine x over cos squared x. Why did I rewrite it like that? Well, sine x over cos x, the quotient identity tells me that that is tan x. And one over cos x is secant x. And now I should recognize this. I should recognize tan x secant x as the derivative of secant x. Right, the derivative of secant x is secant x times tan x. So if I'm looking for the antiderivative of tan x secant x, I'm, I'm looking for what function could I differentiate to get tan x secant x, and that's just the function secant x. And don't forget to add the constant of integration. Part D, we could integrate this by substitution, but you don't know that method yet, theoretically. So we're just going to do a little bit of trial and error with this. I want to find the antiderivative of sine of 4x. That means I want to find what function can I differentiate to get sine of 4x. Well, I know if I differentiate cosine, I get negative sine. So let me start off by writing cosine of 4x as my hypothetical answer. Let's check if this is right. If I differentiate cos of 4x, do I get my integrand? Do I get sine of 4x? Well, let's see what we get. If I differentiate it, I would get negative sine of 4x times 4. Well, I don't really want this negative or this 4. So how could I get rid of those? I could just divide this whole function by negative 4. Or another way of writing that, I could write negative a quarter cos of 4x. Let's check, is that right? If I differentiated that function, well, I know I would be able to leave that constant factor and multiply that by the derivative of cos of 4x, which is negative sine of 4x times 4. And in that function, 
the fours would cancel, the negatives would cancel, and we're left with just sine of 4x, which is great. That's our integrand. That's what we want. So we have the correct answer. Jensen, man.